Hey, you guys, let me know if you can hear me and see me because y'all, uh, um, is that Amber in the thumbnail? That is Amber in the thumbnail. I'm going to run over all the information really quickly. Then we're going to chat about it. That way, anybody that is watching this on a replay, they're not, you know, hearing me have all these conversations with the chat. They can just hear the information. So let me give you guys all the information because this is wild. This is so wild, you guys. It's it, honestly, it's BS. I'm not going to lie. It is BS. So let me go over everything that's happening. So this week on Team Mom, the next chapter, Amber Portwood returns to her home where her ex-boyfriend, Andrew Glennon, lived with their son, James, for the last few few years. Um, they've been living there since, I think it was 2019. Amber agreed to allow her unemployed ex-boyfriend, I don't know if it was necessarily Amber allowed him to live there or the judge said, let him live here. Um, from my understanding of what took place when Amber was arrested on those DV charges um, back in 2019, when she was arrested, um, Andrew said, hey, I can, I, I want to go back to California with my son. And the judge said, no, you can't do that. And he said, well, listen, I don't have no family. I wouldn't have anywhere to live. I don't have a job. And the judge said, well, you can stay in the house since that's where the child, you know, that would be stability for the child. Um, since your girlfriend, ex-girlfriend was just arrested for DV and now has an ongoing court case, um, she's going to be in a little trouble. You're going to take the kid um, while all of this happens and we're going to let you live in that house. And she's going to pay the bills for, for this house, right? So that's essentially what happened when Amber was arrested on uh, for the domestic violence incident that happened back in 2019. Obviously, it was against Andrew Glennon. Now, um, Amber has completed probation. She attended parenting classes. She passed, I think it was 22 drug tests over the course. I may have that. Let me see. I have the number here. I might have the number here. She passed several drug tests over the course of her, her probation. Yes, uh, she took, submitted, and passed 21 drug tests. She underwent multiple psychological evaluations. Um, however, Andrew ultimately won custody, sole custody of James just a few months ago. Um, this was partially a result of Amber openly discussing her violent past, her history with substance abuse, um, and her ongoing struggles with mental illness. Now, when the judge made the decision to give Andrew Glennon sole custody, primary custody, he said, he said, you know, I read your book, Amber, and some of the things in your book really made me feel uh, like you still have a lot to work on and your mental health. James may not be it may not be in James's best interest to be with you 24-7, for you to have primary full custody of him. Um, so, that's wild to me to think that a judge would base his decision off of a book you've written. Because at the end of the day, you could say, well, some of that was exaggerated for book sales. That's what the Chrisleys did. You know, Todd and Julie Chrisley, um, their lawsuit uh, was taught, you know, their 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 lifestyle was brought into to this these charges and they said well that was fake that was fake that was exaggerated for television it was entertainment you know that wasn't really us so i guess amber could have said that but either way he did the judge did tell her that his decision was based partially um on that book so um the book is the the name of amber's book is so you're crazy too i actually have that book we've actually read it for the members i went over that book for the members um so that, along with Amber's emotional outburst in court, that can't be good. Now, despite, let me back up. Andrew has since been allowed to relocate to California with James. That was one of the things that Andrew was asking during this last custody case. You know, he wanted permission to move back to California. That's where he's from. He lived there before he come um, to Indiana to be with Amber. He has family there. He has no family in Indiana. Um, he said he had job opportunities in California, so he wanted to go back to California. Um, the judge finally agreed to allow that to happen. After Andrew finally left Amber, finally left Indiana to go to California, in turn leaving Amber's dream home, um, she returned only to find out that it was left in 
deplorable conditions. Like, it was literally shocking the way this house looked. And um, this house, Amber was really, hate Amber, like Amber, whatever. But here's the thing. Amber came from nothing. She really did. She came from nothing. She's got a, a slew of medical conditions, uh, you know, couple that with substance abuse problems. Um, not making excuses, but you can't deny that substance abuse and mental health conditions that you're not on medication for are the right medication for. You're not going to live a normal life. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. Um, so anyways, when Amber bought this house, he was, when Amber bought this house, she was so proud of it. She used to ride by these subdivisions with Leah and say, one day I'm going to have you a house like that. One day we're going to have a house like that. She finally got it. And then due to her actions, you know, she had to move. She rented an Airbnb for two years before she finally bought another home for herself, a more modest home, a smaller home for herself. I mean, it's still a nice home. It's, not, it's a nice home that she, she purchased. Um, but now she's finally getting to go back to that home that she has not been to. Amber has not been inside this home since 2019. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the pictures, you guys. Also, we're going to watch the clip. Let's watch the clip first. And this is a clip from MTV, so I'm going to try to stop it um, as much as possible so we can um, commentate on it. I, I don't want MTV to try to get me for um, using their footage. So, hold on, you guys. I want to... I wanna, um, this is outside the house. I am going to zoom this out a little bit so we could, y'all, y'all, y'all can't see what I can see right now. Hold on. This is outside the home. Um, let me put me kind of way down here right now. Y'all, look at that house. Yeah, you don't, not an Amber fan either. I mean, I'm not okay with some of the things that Amber did, but one thing you cannot deny is this is wrong. I want to find a picture of her house before. Okay, this is before. Look at the house. Look at the shrubs that were nicely kept. Maybe she had a landscaper. I don't know, um, but either way, house was a nice house. She got a Range Rover sitting out front. Look at that compared to that. You know, this was not being, there was no upkeep. Um, I know he couldn't even cut some shrubs. I mean, let's back it up, back it up. There's Cheyenne, hold on. I want to make sure you guys can see the complete outside like I can. Uh, it's, got to bring my picture back in there. All right, let's go. Just, okay, so the outside, look at that. Just the outside. If I was a neighbor, if I lived in that area, I would be complaining. I would be like, um, this home in itself, the outside of it is making our whole neighborhood look terrible. Why didn't he hire someone to cut the grass? Or trim? He even could have reached out to Amber and said, listen, I can't afford for the upkeep of the outside and it's getting overgrown. Can you do it? Because I don't want it to go, to look, you know, I don't want it to, um, this is how it's looking. Look, and I just can't afford it. You know I don't make money. Whatever. You know? Uh, does anybody else think he trashed it on purpose? Yes. For re revenge? Absolutely. Okay, so let's see. There's some little notice on the door. Do y'all see that? I wonder what that is. I wonder what the notice is on the door. Are we getting... Okay. Let's see. Let's go over to this one. Uh, let's go down here. So this is just... You guys can't really see Amber, but let me... This is her first reaction when she walks in. She's just kind of like... Ah. Um, so here we go. I don't know where to put my little picture because I need to be on there. Um, so they don't get me for like not. Oh, okay. Yep. So here she goes walking in and Gary's there with her. So um, Amber went over after she found out that Andrew had in fact left. 
She had Gary with her. She had Leah with her. She had Christine with her. And they had um, Gary and Christina's daughter. It, Christina. Um, Emmy. I'm getting my um, sister wives names and my team mom names kind of confused. Okay. All right. So look at this. Clothes piled up. He, I mean, he, those look like some decent shoes down there that uh, Andrew left. Are those Yeezys? I don't know. Um, but a pile of clothes right there in the corner. If you guys look at the carpet. Look at the carpet. Why do you think he didn't want to be filmed? Right? I wonder if Andrew is trashing his mom's mansion. I highly doubt it. She probably got some type of butler or something. So look at the floor, the, the carpet. Looks like there's some type of rug in there. Um, do left a pencil sharpener. Where's the pencil sharpener? Oh, he did. Oh my god, that's a big old pencil. I would take that pencil sharpener. I would so take that pencil sharpener. Um, I'm actually gonna play the audio too. Um, girl, those was like those are case swiss I bet they are case swiss huh? You're right, they look like case swiss They don't look like no um uh, um Yeezys are, are are more thick, I think, and more like the the toe is like that, I don't understand why people like some of the Yeezys. I think they're... Ugh. Now, the slides, I can do the Yeezy slides. Anyways, let, let, let's, let's listen to it, too. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. I do have to stop, but I have to commentate. We'll go back and look at pictures, but I have to stop. But I just want to show you guys kind of her reaction to coming in. Uh, the, the floor, uh, I think that carpet may have used to have been white, you guys. This home is over a $300,000 home. Okay, there's inside uh, the living room a little bit, up the stairs. Let me move my picture because literally, I mean, hats, shoes, clothes, just thrown on the stairwell. Um, that corner table that you guys can't really see. There's like a corner table with things underneath it, things on top of it. Um... Once again, the carpet down there. The carpet in there doesn't look nearly as bad. It looks like there's a few spots. But I literally wonder. I know. Why would you need a pencil sharpener that big if you ain't working? What you writing? What you writing down? What you writing down? You know? Oh, you're going to see James's bedroom. And it's just, she had James's bedroom when they lived there. Like a, um, a baby bed. Like, if you guys remember, we saw that on the show. I literally have this vivid memory of like, a, a little rocker glider in there, um, a, a baby bed with the uh, the diaper changing station all in there. He's writing how how to spend his child support. Hey, crime sleuthing. Hey, hey everyone. Um, yes, thankfully this was documented. It smells like pee very bad in here. There's like so Gary just said it smells like pee very badly in here. There are places I think that. The baby may have went around in a diaper too long and got pee places many, many times for it to smell like pee and for it to have pee stains all over the place. Like tons of stains on the floor. Okay, tons of stains on the floor. This is Leah saying there are tons of stains on the floor. Yeah, I don't know where this, what all this is. But... Y'all look at this. I thought she took the dogs. I know she took one of the dogs because one of them was like her longtime dog. This is really bad. This. So even Leah, who is thirteen, she's stressing about it. She's like, "Oh, this is bad. This is bad." Uh, Gary starts putting on gloves, and he's like, "Listen, I'll help you," um, because they're just like she has not been here since twenty nineteen. Since twenty nineteen. When she was arrested, she has not been back to this house. I don't even, like, this is not even, like, funny, like, at all. No, girl. It's not funny. <clears throat> so, this is, so that is uh, what I would assume to be one of um, James's blankets. And it reeked of pee. Also, uh, I want to bring your attention over here to, like, the little entertainment center situation. That white thing, it looks like paint is all over it or I don't know I guess paint um I guess he I, I don't know what is all over the side of this entertainment center but like I have kids and I know 
what can happen with kids. I mean, my daughter, Kennedy, thought it was the funniest thing, you know, to draw her art on our wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and we encouraged her to continu continue drawing this art, but just on paper. You know, um, we had to be like, oh, I love your art, but here, let's do it here where mommy can hang it up. Um, because if we ever have to paint this wall, we're going to have to paint over it and then your art's going to be gone. So let's put it here on this piece of paper so we can keep it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, he had one kid. This is not kids because I have I have six and our house don't look like that. He had one um, yeah, crayon marks. Yeah, but it's crayon marks. Um, James is four now, but James has been alone with Gary in that home for three years. Listen to what Gary says. Let me move myself around. Uh, whoops, I started it over. Did I? All right, there's the outside again since I'm I'm going to start it back over. My bad. There's the laundry. This is them going into the kitchen, into the living room, maybe. Gary putting on them gloves. Uh, look at Christina's face, y'all. Look at Christina's face. She's like. Yes, Balsy. It's been three years, love. This is really bad. This, uh, I don't even, like, this is not even. It's not even funny, Amber. Okay, look what Gary's doing. Watch. Mm -hmm. That's where, that's the pee. It's disgusting. <laughs> Gary says, uh-uh, uh, that's it. That's the pee. It is disgusting. It is disgusting. Um, also, one thing that I noticed uh, on the floor back there, there's a there's a bottle top on the floor. It looks like some other little green thing. A child, you know, maybe not four, but, you know, a, a lot of young children will put things in their mouth. So you don't really need to leave, like, bottle caps just laying around. He was very brave to smell that blanket. I mean, we don't know if it's pee from a, a child, pee from an adult, or Andrew's farts that have left the stank and the rank in that house. You know what I'm saying? Um, HOA was suing her. They should have let her know what was going on. Um, she can't sue him to fix the place. I'm sure he didn't allow security cameras in the home. You know, here's the thing. Uh, I see a lot of people say, and she, 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 she should sue him to fix it. Um, but I, you know, does she really want to put more money back into legal issues? Amber has spent so much of her money to pay for attorneys, to fight for, you know, to, to pay for her charges, you know, attorneys to fight for her charges, attorneys to fight for her kids, and, you know, all a lot of her money has went into that. So, does she really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess if it, if it matters enough to her and she has that kind of money, um, it would be just cheaper to pay somebody to do it, probably so. And Gary did offer. Which, oh, if you notice, Gary got a glove on. So, Gary does have a glove on when he picked up that blanket. Let's watch it again. That's the This is disgusting. Like, funny, like, at all. Mm -hmm. That's where that's the pee. He said, uh-uh. Gary said, uh-uh. Honestly, Andrew probably slept in that area of the couch, let the kids sleep on the other end, and they never cleaned the bathroom. Grown man, toddler, pissing everywhere. I'm sure the house reeks. Yeah. Yeah, how does the house get like this? I have no idea. On the plus side, maybe Amber can use this to launch an investigation, CPS investigation, exactly. This is disgusting. <laughs> How? And, he, and you know, Andrew's laying right there next to it, too. God. Yeah, that's what everybody's asking. How? And he got custody of this child, you guys. You know, the thing is, is maybe he don't have any charges, you know, from the last 10 years, and Amber does. But one thing, Amber goes live. She has shown her house off. Her house never looks that way. I've never seen. And when she lived there, when Amber lived there, who said it was fake? How do you know this is not faked for TV? So you think somebody went in there and pissed all over the couch and let the house? He, Andrew just moved out. Andrew just moved to California within the past month. So he lived there up until, oh, Andrew did have two stalking charges. Yeah, but those were from what? That Those were a while back, right? Like that wasn't anything within the past like seven to like 10 years, right? It is reality TV, but uh. Those bushes, you can't, 
you can't fake that. Now, maybe them saying it smells like P.E., P.E., maybe saying it smells like P.E., maybe that can be fake. Now, I doubt Amber. I mean, you know, yeah, you want to make good for TV, but do you think Amber would go in her house? The, this was her dream home. This was the first house that she bought that she could be proud of. She came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? A Amber came from nothing. She used to pass by this neighborhood and say, one day we're going to have a house there. This was that house. It, when she, she was so happy when she bought that house. Um, so I doubt she would go in that house and, you know, damage it the way that it's been damaged. Like some reality TV is real. and A lot of it is scripted. But I doubt they did this. Like uh, the stains on the floor. I doubt they went in there and poured stuff to stain it up. I doubt they went in there. In a minute, you're going to see where it looks like somebody poured Coke all over the side of the wall. You know, and I do have kids. And one thing I can tell you is I've had to, I've had to wash the side of my walls before because my kids have sippy cups and then they just throw them. You know what I'm saying? Um, th that messy yard can't be faked because he just moved like a month ago. And that didn't grow up like that in a matter of a month. That's not messed with for six to eight months. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe longer. Maybe longer. Because when we moved here, we moved here in... Two thousand seventeen, I think. We moved here in two thousand seventeen, and we have shrubs like that and bushes like that in front of our our house. So pretty, I love them. About six months ago, we had them all like cut down a good bit because they were getting kind of out of hand. It took three years from the time we moved in before our shrubs started getting out of hand and our, our and our plants and our nice bushes. They started getting out of hand about the, and then we had to get them all cut down. And then they look so bare. So I, for me to even believe that it was, it literally looks like from the time that she moved, he didn't do anything on the outside of that house. I could be wrong, but you can tell the mess is aged. It's not fresh, fresh like they just went in there and, and, and did that right. Now, maybe some of the reactions is a little, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it's trumped up a little bit, but I definitely think he did this. I definitely think he did this. Um, Let's get to see that room right now. Please God help me. This was James's room. So this was James's room, and it's not bad. Um, I think the reason she's bothered by seeing James's room is not that it's bad, but 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 that it's bare. You know, um, why? Yes, when when like I said, when she lived there, um when she lived there. She lived there up until the age of he was like almost one, right? Or right after he turned one. Um, when they found out she was pregnant, she did his room. She had a, a, a baby bed, a diaper changing station, a, a, a rocker in there to rock him. And we seen his room. Um, it had his name in the letters above his bed. Uh, it was, you know, it was decorated. Um, now, I think the reason it bothers her so much is even when James got old, old, old enough to not need, you know, that baby bed, he didn't get him like a little nice toddler bed. He just threw a mattress on the floor. This doesn't look like a child's room. I guess he did do her do her a favor and leave this room in somewhat decent shape, though. I mean, it's not uh, it's not just completely uh, ruined. You know what I'm saying? There's what looks like one of the little baby shirts on the floor. Um, let's see if this got any stains over here. If I'm moving out of a house, I remember I lived in an apartment one time, and when we moved out, uh, the the landlord of the apartment complex said, "You clean the house better than I did." She said, "Usually when somebody moves, I have to go up there and I have to clean it." She said, "I don't have to touch yours. You did a better job than I would have did because I felt like I, that's what I needed to do. You don't leave a house in a mess. You you try to leave it at least in the way that you found it. You know what I'm saying? When I'm when I got into that apartment, it was good and clean for me. I didn't have to clean up to move in. You know." I would have called CPS on him. Leah says, I would have called CPS on CPS? him. CPS? I, I did. What the heck is this? Oh, my God. Look at my tub. This is insane to me. So, um, even Leah says, I would have called CPS. And I would have called CPS. And uh, Christine, Christina, I'm getting my my reality TV shows, women's makes up. Christina said, um, uh, CPS, yeah, I would have too. 
Um, so this is the sink, which you can tell that sink has not been cleaned in forever. Um, and this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. I don't know how about anybody would fake the uh, like 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 what's on the um, knobs and how dirty. I don't know. You know, I mean, what's that called? That's on the uh, the faucet. What 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 is that? It's like a residue from like almost mildew type of situation. Um, that's that's like the bathtub. I think is that the bathtub. It looks like it. There's like bugs. So did they not bathe? I don't know. Gary. <laughs> he took the mattress from the... Oh, I bet you the reason that bed has no mattress. We've seen that bed. That is the infamous bed, right? That we always seen Amber sitting in um, when they would film. But it, it looks like he took the mattress off that bed and put it in James's room. Maybe that's where they slept. I don't know. I will do what I can to help you. As far Hold as up. heating and your stuff, I can get a team in here and kind of do it. Hold up. I saw little fingerprints on the TV back there. Y'all see that? Y'all see the little fingerprints on that? What is that? Is that a TV back there? Is that what it is? Y'all see the little handprints? Why is the headboard bent? What was Andrew doing after Amber left? I don't know. Yeah, look at her face. I like those earrings. I can to help you. As far as getting Andrew stuff, I can get a team in here and kind of get it, get Andrew stuff out the way. You know, she really got a good baby daddy, you know, um, to even walk this path with her, to go in that house, offer to help her. Um, Amber then breath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, maybe he did travel a lot, but when you got a kid, a kid can't live in that condition. Um, it, Sean said, I don't know all apologies, but it probably wasn't from him having a wild night with any company. He may have been having a wild night by himself. <laughs> um, I think they had to, I don't know exactly how long he, uh, he's been gone and they've been allowed in there. Um, but I think it's been about a month. Um, but it may have been like, well, we'll let you know when we're done and then you can go in. It may have been one of those things. Like, okay, now we got permission to move. We'll let you we'll let you know when we're done and you can go there. And maybe he just waited to even tell her, okay, yeah, I'm done. You can go now. Um, but her new house is not super close to this house. I think it's like an hour or two away from, or like an hour and a half away from this house or something like that. I don't think she's super close. And hold on. What's hanging on the wall up there? What is that behind Leah's head? Is that a glove? Is that a glove? <laughs> I don't know. Um, did Gary just throw the glove and it stick to the wall? What is going on here with the, with the glove back there? Um, uh, this was a relatively new house. It was a very nice house. Um, and you can even look at the... Um, Y'all look at this next part. It, I, that what we're fixing to see. It is downright disgusting. And I'm starting to like, like, feel really sick to my stomach. Like, I mean, because James lived here. Yeah. Exactly. James lived there. Uh, all of her clothes are still there. I'm actually surprised that he didn't throw her clothes away. If you look in the back... Like, that's Amber's coat that I think she wore in Vegas. Oh, my God. How? Leah, you can never live like this, FYI. Gary says, Leah, you're not going to live like this, FYI. Um, yeah, no, definitely not. Um, what is hanging over, like, behind Christina's head? What's hanging behind Christina's head? Is that the mobile, the child mobile that used to be in his baby bed? Why is it hanging at the foot of the bed? Hold on, y'all. Y'all. What we're seeing right here, okay, is the foot of what used to be Amber and and uh, James, Andrew's bed, right? There's the TV. This is the foot. It's got a blue blanket. It's, it's got a blue bank blanket thrown over. Look, you guys can see it better right there. You guys see it? You guys see it? Y'all can see down in the right-hand corner, there's a blue blanket thrown over the footboard. 
it looks like someone took a plant holder and put the mobile from the baby bed in it. Is that the mobile from the baby bed in a, in, in a plant holder? So maybe, maybe when they were laying on the bed and James would still be asleep, I mean, Andrew would still be asleep, James could just get up and go to the foot of the bed and be amused by it? What is going on here? That's super strange. What was the point of that? Baby mobile or a plant holder? It looks like a baby mobile in a plant holder. At the foot of the bed, no less. To make it like... Wow. Okay. I don't... This is my picture. Oh, look at the miniature fridge. There's a miniature fridge in there. Is that a miniature fridge right there? I can't tell for sure. It might not be. Um, that looks like a miniature fridge. See how a child at four can live. What is this? What is this? And this is old, too. This isn't brand new. Um, this is set there for, for, for a little bit of time. I've had stuff similar to this happen in my house with my kids, right? And you know what you got to do when your kids spill a drink and it looks like this? You clean that mess up. You clean that mess up. So, yeah, like... To me, it, it makes me think, because like I said, I have six children. It makes me think he would put like Coke or something or a soda in a sippy cup for, for the baby. And the baby might throw it around or maybe a drink exploded and it just didn't get clean. Because here's the thing. If you're not working and you're not with Amber Portwood, you can no longer afford the cleaner because Amber had a cleaner, a landscaper, a nanny. Like Amber had all those things that she paid for. Even if Amber didn't clean herself, she made sure their house did not get like that. Did he think she wouldn't have a problem with this? And yeah, I do wonder if this is why he didn't he was he he didn't want them to film. Because he could have continued filming with the child and he could have made money. It might not have been as much as she was making but why would you turn down, say, $150,000, $200,000 in a year to film maybe two months of your life? To be petty because you don't want to give in to your baby mama. Like, and you have no job. You have no job. And you're just going to re rely on your baby mama now to pay your bills. And it's going to mean, like, you either have to borrow money from your mom or, you know what I'm saying? Why not just say, okay, yeah, I'll film. It's literally two or three months out of my life. I'll make 100, 200K. I mean, at this point, when all this happened, Amber was making five to 600K a season. I think Andrew could have easily said, listen, I'll do it, but I'm going to get paid for it. You guys are going to pay me two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. If you guys want to hear my story and it's going to get crazy, the back and forth with me and Amber, you guys want to watch my story? You're going to pay me a decent amount of money. And they might would have maybe not offered him that, but went back and forth, and he could have got more than what he was originally getting. You know what I'm saying? You know, CPS visited his house a few times, though. I don't know if they did. I'm not sure. I don't I, I don't know if they ever did visit his house. Um, I don't know if CPS was ever involved. Um, I know when she was arrested, the judge got involved and set up stipulations. They had an app that they went through in order to communicate, but that's lifted now. Um, but some of these things didn't just happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of these things didn't just happen. Here, like this. 
No, we should look like that. Not, not any channel. And two, you know, even though like reality TV is not reality sometimes, I just don't feel like Gary would allow Leah in this house acting like this was all fake if this was not true. I think Gary, maybe Gary would go with her and do the whole scene to make it look like the house was left like this. But I don't know if he would have Leah do that. I really think they walked into this house and they were shocked to see the way that it looked. I'm going to live stream. <laughs> anyway, yeah, check the mail. Oh, check the mail. Thank you. He was like, oh, I think your acceptance letter came in the mail, babe. From who? NSU. I already got it. In the mail? Yeah, NSU. I already, I already got that letter. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry guys, my daughter. She just got in from uh, school. So it, also something I, I noticed was look behind the wall. So like I said, this house was relatively new. It was in really good shape. But if you look behind Amber on the wall, you you can tell that they've like, um, uh, Sean, what is that? Where if somebody puts a hole in the wall and you fix it and you put this like stuff over it, you can see several, like, it looks like something's going on with the wall over there. And But that might be from when Amber lived there and maybe they, things got thrown at the wall. Maybe, you know, he got somebody to fix it. Um, I don't know. But the wall looks really weird back there. Patch, plaster, yeah, something like that. Um, spackle, putty. <laughs> um, I want to zoom in on that just so. I, it looks like a lot of it, though. It looks kind of strange. Am I, like, tripping here? Like, what is that? I don't know. Yeah, she looks like she don't even want to be there. Yeah, my husband has a sheep bar fishing company. This house needs a lot of patchwork. Bulk. Yeah, I don't know. Drywall patch. Oh my God! It's a message with the gloves. The gloves were literally on the wall like this. Almost like he is saying, like, peace out. Surprise, I left you with... I left you with a nice and welcoming home. Like, welcome home. Here's your home. <laughs> peace. All right, let me fix the picture again, and we'll continue. But, yeah, I mean, I, you know, people might be like, oh, this is fake. I don't know how it would be. And I don't see Gary bringing Leah in to pretend like all this happened, you know, if it didn't really happen. Oh, my God. I am. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at the pillows, y'all. Why are the pillows? are? Why didn't he throw those away? That looks like Amber's body pillow. When Amber was pregnant, she had a body pillow. I do remember that on some of the scenes. It look Um this is inside her closet. This is her closet. What used to be his closet, her closet. All these pillows, it's got all this they're 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 brown, they're yellow stained. It's so nasty. Um, he was there for three years after she left. After she left, he was there for three years. Um, you know, here's the thing. To get pillows to, to look like that, that's going to take a job. You either got to really, like, I don't even know how you get them to look like that in a day or two. Like, oh, I'm leaving. Let me, let me destroy the house and make these pillows look gross and pee all over them, you know, and set them outside to bake and then throw them back in the house. I don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you do that? Like, um, those pillows look disgusting. This is, like, disturbing. Exactly. So, we're going to go back and look at pictures at a time, you know. Um, but, yeah, she's been gone for three years. Did he smoke? Not to my knowledge. Um, I, I, I don't recall ever seeing him smoking. I don't recall ever seeing him smoke on Team Mom. Um, now, I think he did say that Amber used to smoke, but I, I don't know. that she used to. He did say that Amber used to s sit in the closet and smoke marijuana, but I don't know if that's actually factual. Um, and I don't ever remember seeing him smoke on the show. 
So I, I, I don't really know there about the smoking situation. Um, let's look at Amber's face. She, here's the thing, you know, she does. She, she has her house that she just purchased recent, recently. And um, sweat and drool, not using pillowcases, and peeing bodily fluids, smoking. Um, she needs to send the video and pictures to CPS. Uh, people on Reddit are commenting on this, and they're just, like, disgusted at it, obviously. Um, they think she needs to take him to court. People on Reddit are saying, you know, of course he's this type of guy to do something dumb like this. Like, he's literally the guy that met his future baby mama on marriage boot camp after running the guy off that she's been with for three years. You know, like, he knew what Amber was about, and he still got with her. So, clearly, you know, knowing that she wasn't in an okay place and then had a baby with her right off the bat. So, do we really expect him to be, like, some sort of saint? And let me tell you guys, when this first happened, um, watching the show, when I watched the show and Andrew came into the picture, I, I really gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, well, you know, maybe he didn't see all these scenes with Amber where Amber got, you know, kind of outrageous out there. Um, maybe Amber showed him a side of her that we never seen. Um, maybe he didn't watch her from Teen Mom. I gave him all kind of benefit of the doubt. Even when the DV situation came out, I was on his side. Um... I was on his side. I even reached out to him. Me and him were in a conversation. We spoke to each other. And I kind of told him about, you know, some things concerning my childhood. And he told me, you know, how Amber just wasn't a good mom, how she would yell and scream in front of the baby and all these things. And I just said, you know, wow, you know, just please take care of that baby and give that baby, you know, the life that he needs as much as you possibly can, um, knowing that his mom may be all that she is. Um, now, I really started questioning things when the audio came out, and it had to be narrated. And the narrator was telling us things were happening that was not happening. The narrator was like, see, now Amber's running. And I'm like, I don't hear anything. How does the narrator know that Amber's running if I don't hear Amber running? Um, this is when she took the, the machete out. I'm like, well, how do you know that? You know, there were There were cameras all over the house. There were cameras in the bedroom. Why did we not see that? Why did we not see? I mean, we saw other things that made her look bad. We also found out that he started recording her, audio recording her, before she even got pregnant. Before she even got pregnant, he started audio recording her. You know? Um, remember, Andrew was a producer. Exactly. Um, so, it really made me start wondering, that why can't you just put it out and let us hear for what it is? She definitely, you know, abused him physically, mentally, emotionally, verbally. Absolutely. But I do think he played it up uh, a lot. Um, they're from Teen Mom. Um, I wonder if he went into it with some agenda after and now seeing the way he trashed the house. Also, the victim impact statement. Also, the victim impact statement was another thing that really made me question because the day that he gave his victim impact statement, that evening he went home and he sent it over to a YouTuber. And that YouTuber got on her live and she read that victim impact statement. And in his, in his victim impact statement, he said that he contemplated jumping down a flight of stairs with his baby in his arms to get away from Amber. Yet, we did not hear that in the audio. We actually heard the exact opposite. In the audio, Amber's saying, leave. Get out of my house. She even says, like, you can take James. Just go. Get out of my house. And he says, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. She says, get out of my house. And he, uh, she, she says something about how she took all of her medicine. He's like, what? Yeah, way to go, Amber. Really good. Mother of the year, Amber. Take all your medicine. And, you know, she's like, watch me die or something like that. And he's like, really good. You're such a great mother. You're such a great mother. She's like, get out of my house. Get out of my house. And then you hear a door slam, right? Well, before that, you do hear him say something about a machete. She's, he's like, oh, you're going to use the machete? And I don't remember what she said, but you never hear her running. He was definitely taunting her. Um, she tells him several times to get out, get out, get out. And then you hear a door shut. And she says, what are you doing? This is my house. He went into the office. He had plenty of time to run down them steps 
all the time that she was saying, leave, 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 get out of my house. You could take James, just go. She knew she wasn't well mentally in that moment. So she said, leave. Rather than leaving, he goes into the office and then she grabs the door. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of my house. And he goes, not for long. The IRS is coming at you. You know, taunting her because he knew that she has a problem with taxes. That was something that we're trying to get worked out, the issue with taxes. So he's like, oh, it's not going to be your house for long because the IRS is going to come come take it from you, you know? And he's like, I got to make a phone call or something along those lines. I don't know. Um, so when I heard the victim impact statement and he's saying, I contemplated jumping down the flight of stairs with my son in my arms. And then I'm thinking back, I even went back and listened to the audio. To hear, because I'm like, I know she told him to get out many times. So, and he ran to, 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 to like the office or something and shut the door. So, what is, it didn't match up. It didn't line up. Then, on like Instagram, a couple of days later, he said he took his son to a museum. And the museum had a samurai sword and he had a panic attack. And I'm like, really? Really? Huh. Okay, I don't know. I just thought he really played into everything really, really a lot. Um, so, um, anyways, that's kind of made me question his motive, if he had an agenda. I don't know, you guys. Um, let me get back. Um, So that's that's the house. I don't know what she's going to do, if she's going to sell it, if she's going to fix it up. Um, I'm not really sure. I think she probably, she's got a lot of legal issues. Um, if I was going to do anything and put my money anywhere at this point, it would be into taking him back to court and trying to like, a, I don't know if you can appeal a, a judge's decision on a custody case and say, well, I've got new evidence to prove that he's not. I mean, even Leah said, no child should live like this. Even Leah said that. Leah's 13. She knows because she's been brought up in something that's so not like this, you know? Um, YouTube usually will do full episodes. What they don't show is the next episode, and the mouthing can be off from the wording, and sometimes it'll zoom in on different parts, um, which maybe not Teen Mom. Maybe not Teen Mom, but I know, like, Sister Wives and she has the key and things like that. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm blown away. She could take the route of suing him for it to be fixed and, you know, and then taking him back to court and try and use this against him. Um, but if she don't have the money to do both, I would definitely, would, I would definitely um, take the route of taking him back to court and using this as some of my evidence against him. But I'm so shocked that he would even do this, that he would have the audacity to leave the house in this type of shape, knowing, like, if I leave it like this, Amber might put it out on social media, like, Team Mom might show it. Um, yeah, we can all agree to disagree. Um, everybody is completely entitled to their opinions as long as, um, I, like I said, I, obli I believe that Andrew is the victim. There's no denying she hit him. She called him terrible names, but I also believe that Amber has not been treated fairly either, and I wonder his motives now. Um, I wonder if he knew she was and thought, hmm, let me date her and see, you know, what good I can get out of this. Um, I can't believe he didn't have court visits. Yeah, so I wouldn't feel bad for Amber if she hadn't taken steps to get better. Even Leah notices. Exactly, she has taken steps. I mean, she's passed, she's passed 21 drug tests. She's taking parenting classes. She's on, you know, on the right. And she's not going to have, you know, things that happen where um, she's not going to have, she's not going to be perfect every day, all day. Every, you know, she's still going to have, well, I read a book the other day and it said you're going to have slip ups, but as long as you don't spiral from those slip ups and make it a constant, um, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about that and show you guys. This was just on, I think this was on the most recent episode of Teen Mom, where she viewed the house off for the first time. Gary's going to help her fix it up. That's what he said. He said, I can get here with the team. We can get all of Andrew's things out of the house. I mean, th at this point, 
is probably full of bad memories. I mean, maybe a few good memories. She brought uh, James home in that house. She's definitely no angel. Let's just get that. Yeah, let's put that out there real quick. Uh, Amber, Amber's no angel. Um, but, you know, still, when somebody does something directly, when somebody else does something wrong to someone, it doesn't mean we can't call those things out. You know what I'm saying? Um, clean it up and sell it. That's probably what I would do. Um, yeah, but she missed a lot of her visits. He had evidence of that. A judge would have never ruled back. Yeah, she did talk about missing a lot of those visits, so she don't like to drive. Um, this is what her defense was for that, I'll tell you guys, because I heard her talk about it. So she does not like to drive. Um, if you guys notice, Matt always drove, Andrew always drove. Um, because she, especially in bad weather. So the, during those um, winter months, she canceled when the weather was too bad where she didn't feel safe to drive. Also, there were times that she was out of town working, filming for Teen Mom the next chapter that she had to cancel. So some of those were work-related, and then others were related to the weather because they didn't live super close. I think they lived like an hour away. She tried to put herself like, you know, I think closer to Leah um, when all this happened because she leaned on them a lot for support, I think. Um... So anyways, yeah, we are going to talk about Gwendolyn Brown and what she exposed on a recent TikTok. We're also going to talk about AWP. Another one of his sisters has spoken out. She's not making herself known. Also talk about, you know, the one sister that is doing that GoFundMe for a million dollars and how that has got people just kind of side-eyeing the sister, the situation. I'm not victim shaming, but we are going to talk about it. So you guys meet me back here in just a little bit. Um, you guys have me your thoughts about this house. What are you guys thinking? Did he do it on purpose? Is this how they lived and he just didn't see a problem with it? Uh, so that's why he was okay. Um, th that's why he was okay with what was happening. How do you miss visits and aren't consistent? Yeah. Well, I think she was thinking she had to miss the visits because she couldn't drive in certain weather. It scared her. But if she had him at her house, she wouldn't have to drive. He would be home and she could schedule out a nanny to stay with him when she had to work or work it out with James. Like, Hey, I have to go to work for two weeks. So do you want to keep him those two weeks or do you want me to leave him with his nanny? You know, something like that. Um, just cause people work and you know, uh, I think she was trying to do better. I think she was trying to do better, but those were her reasonings for, um, yeah, but some people just live like that. So they don't see a problem with it. So when they move and they leave, they don't even need to, you know, they don't even, uh, try to fix it because they think it's normal um so anyways you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below uh what do you guys think like i said we're going to come back to talk about gwendolyn brown and her exposing the brown family she don't like robin janelle's already left and she explains why cody did not sit up next to janelle at their son logan's wedding he sat in the back with robin so we're going to talk about all that i got in the video um also we are going to cover like i said awp Another one of his sisters come out to say, I am a victim as well. And that million dollar GoFundMe that the first original sister came out to say that she was she was a victim. Um, the hero cousin said, I don't want money. But then the sister started to GoFundMe wanting to raise a million dollars. Like I said, I got people side on. Thumbs up. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would help me out so greatly. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I cover reality TV news and gossip, trending topics, and I am kind of, uh, just pivoting a little bit over into like true crime and you know things like that so if you like celebrities reality tv and true crime i'm your channel so hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone